lightning struck this tree nearby and it fell over the road. We are on a mission to clear a path. We're Nat and Abby. This is Bear and Peluche. The four of us live full time in our van named Tawanda, our home for the past two and a half years. Join us every week as we embark on an incredible journey of exploration and personal growth. By living and sharing our intentional, simple life, we hope to inspire you in yours. Whether it be a challenge or a beautiful triumph, we hope you will come along with us to play, ride, and seek. Welcome back to Life on the Road, where we see beauty in abandon, where fireflies at dusk remind us of the magic of light. How do you feel about the fireflies? Oh, I love them so much. I used to try and catch them when I was a kid, so they're very nostalgic, but they're also just gorgeous. They're like one of my favorite bugs. I mean, how cool is that? They have a light bulb on their bootang. We check off National Park number 32 in West Virginia, each park bringing us closer to the serenity of Earth. Cold. This is the miner's air conditioning. Oh my God, Abby, if you come from here and come here, it's probably a 20 degrees difference. That's crazy. Dang, it feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> a horror story is going on in that head of yours. <laughs> this is amazing. This is nature's air conditioning. You know what? There are bats in there. There's got to be bats in there. Hello, bats. Back to off-grid camping, living in a van down by the river, and getting to see our senior dog bear embrace his love of water. It's powerfully healing. Life on the road teaches us to embrace these spontaneous moments and learn from them. A lesson from waterfalls. Rage and chaos always returns to calm. The ultimate go with the flow. So we're on this gorgeous trail in the trees. It's amazing. And then we just happen to see this waterfall right on the side of the trail. I mean, we had to take a dip. Gotta be honest guys, we only came to West Virginia because there's a national park here and we love national parks. We had no idea that we would discover so many other hidden gems like these waterfalls. A new adventure around every corner. Constant change, scenery, challenge, growth. Life is so damn good. Driving miles to visit friends and family just to say goodbye again. Bye, kiddo. Cheers, baby. Wow. It is a long 
lovely evening in Pennsylvania wine country. Life on the road makes us stronger as we revel in the beauty as well as the challenges. Super disappointing to pull up to a really beautiful camp spot and see a lot of trash. So I gotta do something about this. Picking up trash. Look here, kids. If you're gonna camp, don't leave your shit behind because karma is the most expensive litter. Sincerely, let's play ride and seek. Pack it in, pack it out. Keep it clean. The dragonfly landed on Bear's bag. <laughs> Home for the next 72 hours. feels so good to be back out in nature and on the road again. Stopping at places like this, we just love it. Bye, Tawanda. See you in a little while. Yeah, this is a nice afternoon, I see. Go for an adventure. Get down. Get down. She has to get down. It's too freaking high. Too low. The bridge is too low. Abby had to stand down. Whoa. I'm almost touching it. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Getting close. Oh no. <laughs> Whoa, look how close I am. Whoa. Well, that wasn't on my bucket list, but chick. Welcome to this episode of Where's Tawanda? Where in the world is Tawanda, San Diego? Anybody? <laughs> There was an intense thunderstorm last night and lightning struck this tree nearby and it fell over the road that we used to get in here. The only road in and out. So we are on a mission to clear a path so we can get out of here later today. Crap. So that's gotta be a lightning strike because it just cracked right in half. And it's across the road that we need to get out on. So we gotta, <laughs> there's nobody else here. This is a job for this little thing. Hey, Wendy, this is coming in handy. Thank you again for this. It's the first time I'm using it and I would say it's a pretty big project. I kind of strain, sprained my neck and shoulders. So I can't really use my left arm. So Abby is doing the brunt of the work. Bless you, baby. She looks hard at work, look at her. Doing good, baby. You're doing good. Get my workout hit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you getting a thrill out of it? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so much. <laughs> it is a lot. We're going to be here a while. What do you think, guys? That was awesome. Dude, this is pretty fun, huh? Mm-hmm. Literally more. create your own path, okay?
Look at that path, you guys. We had to trailblaze, but now we have a path to get out. Me and my baby, we're trailblazers. <laughs> felt very nice to know that we could solve our own problems like that to be able to continue our journey because they will happen. We better start now because we're going to freaking Alaska and South America. So that was like a cute little scale one. Scale one, okay? Level one, check. We, we've moved up. Check, dogs. Did you tell me we saw two foxes on this road? We didn't. The first night we were walking for the evening stroll up the road and we look up and there's two foxes, like triple the size of Luce, just sitting in the middle of the road. It's amazing. You pretty doe. This is the new um, pace we're gonna be starting for Van Life 2.0. Okay, slow living, thank you. Thank you for your lesson. I love you. Welcome back to Life on the Road. This is the beginning of a new chapter. We play, we ride, we seek. An unusual life full of adventure and our minds eager to expand. The journey begins now. Woo! Winnie's gonna be so proud. She's like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Wait, yeah, sorry.